now we'll see how to derive expression for delta g for isothermal reversible process first uh, we consider um, g is equal to h minus ts so this is a thermodynamic well known thermodynamic expression this is how the free energy g and the enthalpy h temperature and entropy are related g is equal to h minus ts so in this we have to substitute in the place of h um, e plus pv because we also know that h that is enthalpy is equal to e plus pv that is internal energy e pressure and then volume so this has to be substituted here so g is equal to e plus pv minus tds as a next step we have to differentiate on both side so that we get dg is equal to de plus pdv plus vdp minus tds minus sdt okay then what is this de plus pdv this is nothing but the first law of thermodynamics what is the first law of thermodynamics delta e is equal to q minus w w is pdv okay Uh, delta e is d e here right then delta e if you bring this w to this side delta e plus w is equal to q so that means uh, d e plus p d v will be equal to d q from the first law of thermodynamics okay so in the place of d e plus p d v we can substitute d q that comes from the first law of thermodynamics okay then dg is equal to dq plus vdp minus sd i mean tds minus sdt right so instead of de plus pdv we are substituting dq here that is from the first law of thermodynamics and from the second law of thermodynamics dq is equal to tds because delta s is equal to q reversible by t so this is the second law of thermodynamics so from this what is dq is equal to it is t ds t ds okay so we are writing dg is equal to t ds t ds in the place of dq t ds plus vdp minus t ds minus sdt okay now strike out uh, t ds plus t ds and then minus t ds then uh, dg is reduced to be dg is equal to vdp minus sdt okay and after that at constant uh, pressure okay what this expression will become at constant pressure dg is equal to dg at constant pressure is equal to this term will vanish because at constant pressure dp is equal to zero so we get minus sdt so this can be written like dou g by dou t at constant pressure is equal to minus s so this is one expression next uh, you consider from this at constant temperature what this expression becomes at constant temperature we have seen what will ha what will happen if the pressure is constant now consider at constant temperature what this expression will become okay so dg is equal to dg at constant temperature is equal to vdp because dt will get uh, will be equal to zero so dg is equal at constant temperature is equal to vdp now in the place of v you can substitute Uh, from the ideal gas equation pv is equal to nrt uh, v is equal to nrt by p so this can be substituted over here so dg at constant temperature is equal to nrt by p into d now we have to integrate on both side okay when we integrate uh, this becomes g is equal to nrt integration of dp by p within the limit dp um, I mean P one to P two, so this is also has to be integrated within the limit P one. I mean G one to G two. Then this becomes delta G. Delta G is equal to N R T. Um, this is dP by P on integration is ln P. Okay, when we substitute the limit, it becomes P two by P one. So this is the expression. When we change this ln to be log, then we have delta G is equal to N R T. Uh, 2.303 log p2 by p1. We can write delta G is equal to 2.303 nRT 
log P2 by P1. So at constant volume, I mean pressure, uh, dou G by dou T at constant present pressure is equal to Ns. At constant temperature, delta G expression is 2.303 NRT log P2 by P1 for the reversible isothermal process.